In Seoul, South Korea, nations are wrapping up a meeting on nuclear safety by focusing on securing nuclear material. Attendants cite concerns of it falling into the hands of terrorist groups. But as FSRN's Jason Struther reports, despite an agreement to reduce highly enriched uranium, some question if the summit is really making the world safer from a nuclear attack. Much of the nuclear waste that lies in stockpiles around the world is composed of highly enriched uranium. U.S. government officials and many other nations fear that if this material falls into the wrong hands, it could result in the creation of a dirty bomb. On Tuesday, the U.S., France, Belgium, the Netherlands, and South Korea signed deals to convert around 200 European medical research reactors from highly enriched to low enriched uranium. Low enriched uranium can only be used in energy production. South Korean President Lee Myung Bak pointed to the deal as one of the summit's top accomplishments as he read the joint communique at the close of the forum. Lee says when these nations finalized the conversion in 2015, the need for highly enriched uranium will be greatly reduced. And that means there will be less material that could be proliferated. But some analysts say that while the agreement is a welcome development, it's really just a drop in the bucket. That's according to Miles Pomper, senior researcher at the Center for Nonproliferation Studies at the Monterey Institute for International Studies. He says the summit is missing a framework that measures how much material is actually secured. There was never any agreed upon definition of secure. What does it mean to secure materials? There's no legal standard internationally that's binding it. How do you say what you've, if you've accomplished the goal or not if you don't have any standards? Pomper suggests one way to resolve the problem is to create a peer monitoring system to make sure nations are following through with their pledges. But he doubts that by the time the next summit is held in 2014, the goal of securing all nuclear material will be reached. Jason Struther, FSRN, Seoul.